I think especially with the Johnson & Johnson, it's one of those things where it's how information is received. What people need to understand too, it's not the United States who just dump vaccines in Africa. This is part of the COVAX program. It's a part of a lot of key stakeholders, international organizations around the world who also understand the reality of Africa. So all the regulatory bodies have proven, even now with the Delta variant, that it's a safe and effective vaccination. I think right now the world is always gonna battle, you know, misinformation, conspiracy theories about the vaccines, but all the regulatory bodies in the world, not only the United States, have approved it. But more than anything else, the Johnson & Johnson, why I think it stands to benefit Africa better is because of how effective it is. It's a logistics nightmare to track down Gambians to take two shots doing the right sequence. Now we have a golden opportunity with a vaccination in the Johnson & Johnson that's proven to be safe and effective. Once again, not in preventing coronavirus, but preventing hospitalizations and death from coronavirus. And it's one shot. So 150,000 vaccines, that's 6% of our population. So the biggest opportunity is understanding the difference between the vaccines. It's easier to administer one shot and you don't have to come back again. Uh, so it's just something that people need to understand. All the individuals who are in charge of the welfare of humanity have ascribed that this is something that could be efficient. So we should be celebrating the fact that we have a more efficient vaccine in terms of administration and not casting you know, misinformation because the person who might believe the misinformation just might be the unlucky individual who gets COVID and becomes sick enough or does not make it. So I think the conversation needs to start with us who understand educating people about it, but also everybody has to have their hand in, in this as well too.